were comparing it earlier to the Rotax 912, which is so common in our industry. And they do a wonderful job. We're happy to have Rotax supporting many aircraft. But in, in total length, because you have direct drive and no gear drive, yes. uh, the size is similar. Yeah, the here. size is similar, but this is a 4-liter engine. It's a 4-liter engine, so it's, it's a lot of capacity. We How much horsepower can this engine develop? We expect it to have 130 horsepower and about 320 newton meter torque. Okay. So, yeah, so a lot of torque as well. Uh, this is not something so common on light aircraft engines. No, but it's important. it's important. It's important. It's good for climb, especially. It's, it's, uh, this one has 220 newton meter. Okay. So this one we expect to have around 320 newton meter. Oh, wow. It's uh, a full, almost 50% more than it's it's more. capability that way. So, uh, Reiner told me earlier, when you go to put a lot of hours on this engine, uh, you need to put a thousand hours on an engine in order to uh, to fully understand and improve it. That would be a lot of time in an airplane. Do you have another idea about how you will do this? Uh, then we have an indeed, indeed uh, a constructor of boats who wants to put a fierce fossil in, a, in his boat because he needs, okay. he needs a water cooling. I see, but, okay. But so it is a water cooling engine that yes, that's important to bring out. Completely water cooled and they have a pattern system to go on the sea and to use seawater to cool the engine. Okay. So they have uh, suggested that we could have a boat from them and put a six cylinder in. And then just run it and run it and run it. How many hours would you like to run it? I would like to run it 1,500 hours. 1,500. That would be a lot of flying. It would take, I don't know how long it would take to do 1,500 hours in an airplane. A lot. So you can do it quicker with a boat. You can do it quicker because you don't have problems with the weather. Right. You just go out and go Even and if go it's raining, even it's raining, it's wind. You can. You don't have problems with snow. You can have because even if it's snowing, you can. You can go in the water. You just have to. So how long will it take to do 1,500 hours in a boat in, in months or It weeks depends on how many time I have. <laughs> <laughs> I like going on boats, but uh, you need time to do you it. You won't like it after all that. You won't want to go on a boat again, I suspect. Well, that's excellent. I have a lot of friends who want to go to make a trip on the boats. Oh, okay, well, good. Well, you'll wear out your friends, I'm sure. 1,500 hours on a boat with this engine. So when did you begin the company to make these engines? The project started in 2005. 2005. So in 2005, they started. Uh, they, they were started with a massive aluminium, built aluminium that was uh, machined completely. Okay. It was still carburetor. Then in 2008, 2009, we started with injection and okay. with sand casted aluminium. Uh, uh, sand casting. Yes, sand casting. Then we had the first version of sand casting. It was 2,500 cc because there was a limitation in France to 80 horsepower. Okay. While we were developing the engine, uh, they raised to 100 horsepower and we decided to change the engine because we, there were still some issues that we have seen with the sand after version that we could make see. better. No, not larger, but we, we could make it larger without any problems keeping the same dimension. Okay. Just make it 6mm uh, long on each side okay. and then we increased the stroke from 74 to 80. So we went to the uh, valves before they were flats, now they are on an angle of 3 degrees. We put the valves closer to the pistons, so we could make this one 12 mm shorter. Ah, I see, okay, you reduce this to this one. Yes, okay. And what we took here from weight, because here this was light as we thought, what we took here from weight, we took it away here, because we make it so we could keep the same weight and make it much easier to maintain. Excellent. Is all the rest of this your production? All the rest? Yes, yeah, we make the molds for the sand casting. Okay. So we ordered the sand casting by a company that is uh, accredited for military and aeronautical okay. proposals. But all the, we buy, of course, starter. Yes, of course. Uh, we, we, buy it, uh, we buy the spark plugs. Uh, yes, we don't make the spark plugs. <laughs> but mo most of these parts are all made by us. Built aluminium or from sand plastic that we are uh, assembling later on. But we have machines to do that. Excellent. How, how many, I'm sorry, Dan, how many engines have actually been delivered to customers now then? You know, we have delivered 21 engines. We started the production in January 2013. So I know we have delivered uh, 21 engines. A lot of them provide photos that we could put on the website for installation. Okay, great. To give an idea of how we can install it. 
some customers prefer an aircraft. Some pre uh, customers prefer not to get photos. But they will provide photos when they have done tests and they will plan the information of the engine. They will provide us photos. And we expect in the coming months to have more information to put on the website for different destinations. Okay, terrific. Well, a lot of information about the D motor uh, earlier, the four cylinder, 93 horsepower, now the six cylinder, 130 horsepower engine in the lengthy testing you'll do on a boat and much more we'll find out. Where can we go on the web to find even more about your deep order? You can find more on the web on www.d slash but minus sign motor.tu Very good. You can find more about this product, about the Speed Cruiser product, about the D motor and the D motor in the United States on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com Thanks a lot for joining us here at Arrow. Rush to catch him on our forums if you want to